Okay guys, I just picked up my Furman T07571 tri-fuel generator from Costco here in Canada. Uh, it was on sale for uh, $8.99 regular price, $1,200. Um, someone on YouTube mentioned they picked up the same one for $7.49 Canadian four months ago. So I might not have, have gotten the, uh, the best special, but... Um, I can use a backup generator now and for $8.99 I think it's still a pretty damn good deal for a near a 10,000 kilowatt uh, generator. So the purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is to switch between three fuels. Uh, I'll be starting off with uh, gasoline. It is connected to the natural gas right now. Let's just uh, disconnect that real quick. going so yeah this is full of well no, you can't actually see from there it recommends a minimum of 87 octane right now I'm using 95 octane way overkill but it's all I had on hand 95 octane zero ethanol um, so first step really simple for, for gasoline once everything's connected you we just switch the, uh, the switch over here to gas head over to the choke side put it make sure it's on start now make sure everything's on breakers on you can actually turn this one on after I'm not sure about this one but this is basically the uh, the start. This is a uh, battery start, so you don't have to pull the uh, the crank. Very simple. Check us out. Switch the lever back to run. Here it is. Okay. That was the um, gas. Now I'll be doing the uh, the propane. So you can switch it over to propane. Actually, you should connect everything first, but I'm holding my uh, phone with the one hand. I don't think it changes much. This is where you're gonna connect the propane with the uh, included adapter. I don't usually use propane, but I found this, uh, someone, someone was giving this away and it's pretty much full. So I just picked it up for the, uh, the demonstration. It's going to be connected to here. This is obvious with one hand, but it's still feasible. Let's switch hands, actually. You want to make sure this is uh, tight, not over tight. There you go. Connect it to your propane cylinder. cylinder make sure that's uh, tight as well hand tight don't use a tool to tighten that at that point we open the gas all the way back on the choke here choke in start position make sure this is good for LPG liquid propane gas over here there's another switch on the side this one has to be switched to LPG as well. At that point, we're ready to start the generator. Just give me a second here. I'm actually uh, working on a project and I did not tighten the uh, the screw. I'm working on a project here. I'll soon be uh, setting up some sort of automated choke that's powered with the battery. I plan on remote starting this thing unofficially. I'll be uh, I'll be showing you guys that in the next video. So that was the second part of the demonstration. Let's turn the gas back off. 
all the way. Screw this. And let's move this out of the way. Onto the natural gas. This is my natural gas line. Make sure it is in the off position. We're gonna connect it to the same port as we did for the, uh, the propane. Tighten it as well, not over tight. On the side, we're gonna switch this to natural gas. Make sure the choke is in the start position. Turn on the gas. Go. That's on. And same process, really simple. Turn this on to the LPG natural gas position. Make sure everything is good. We're good to go. Hmm. Where are we? Let's try that again. So in this case, since I did the, uh, the switch from uh, propane to natural gas, I guess it was already primed. I didn't have to have it on the, uh, on the start position. I did anyways and it didn't start, so I just swapped it over to the, the run position. Again, sorry guys, my uh, I purposely took the screw off. It didn't come loose and that stuff back there. Anyways, this is the end of the video. <laughs> um, it was just to show you how amazing this thing is and how well it works on gasoline natural gas and liquid propane i'll soon be doing another test with the unit that's under load i have a 7500 watt heater which is going to be perfect for this test because this generator puts at 7500 watts running watts on gasoline 67.50 on liquid propane and 5500 so all that in the next episode of Furman tri-fuel generator thanks for watching see you guys